Hey, in this video I want to show you how you can extract an upper canine tooth without making a flap. So let's go. This was a medium sized dog that brought to my clinic and it had a pretty severe problem. A malocclusion, overbite and the lower canine was hitting into the palate and on the palatal side of this 104. So I decided we need to extract this tooth. And before you do any flapless extraction, you want to make sure that there's no tooth resorption, no ankylosis that will make this prop, uh, extraction very hard. So look at the periodontal ligament space. You can see there's a very nice and wide periodontal ligament space here. There's some bone loss in this area. Here's that hole into the tooth and possibly a periodical lucency here. So how should you do it? You should select very sharp thin luxating blades uh, to insert. So first you select the smallest blade you have, the thinnest blade, and you walk your way around cutting those periodontal ligament fibers with this instrument. Then move one size up, go 360 degrees around the tooth again, making it loose by cutting the ligament fibers. See, already some mobility here. So then I move onto a elevator or luxating elevator, winged elevator, whatever you prefer, something that you can twist without breaking it. So I'm just giving it some little bit of final release before applying my extraction forceps. The trick here is to use an extraction forceps that fits the tooth very nicely so you can get a very good grip. And I pull and I twist at the same time. You can twist quite hard and you see here that it's finally getting loose and coming out in just one second. Here you go. So look at the uh, grip here, how nice this forceps adapts to that tooth surface. This is crucial for getting those canines out. The next step, because there was a chronic pocket on the inside or the palatal side, I want to reduce, get rid of any epithelial layer that will interfere with healing. So I use my diamond football burr to walk around the inside of the flap, palatal side, buccal side, and debride some of that epithelium. So you see the elbow is here. It's quite easy to close the gingiva just with a few sutures. If you have problems with uh, getting things approximated, you can take your fingers and push a little bit on either side to make the edges meet. And this will per definition, not dehisce, because I didn't make any flaps, so there will be no dehiscence. I didn't make any cuts, and, and the releasing of the periosteum, that will reduce pain. So, and I didn't have to suit you all the way here, so I also saved some time. So for selected cases, especially small to medium sized dogs, you can absolutely do flapless extractions on canine teeth, um, because the roots are kind of straight and you can see here how e easy it was. So let me know what you think and share this video with a veterinarian who wants to speed up their extractions.